Hi, I'm David Penn, Research Analyst with Finnovate. Thank you for joining us for our Finnovate Spring 25 and 5 Rapid Fire Interview Series. Joining us today is John Thompson of Attune. John, thanks for joining us today. Awesome, so, great to be here, thanks. You bet. Now, before we get started, could you tell us just a little bit about yourself and your company? Excellent, my name is John Thompson. I'm the president of Attune. Um, we are an insights platform that enables organizations to optimize for financial health. And we were born out of a national nonprofit called the Financial Health Network. And this platform really represents the culmination of years of work in helping organizations figure out how to improve customer outcomes and connect that uh, to business. My background is um, in technology um, and applied to payments, and I've been working in products and services focused on underserved consumers for most of my career. Yeah, interesting. And folks are going to get an opportunity to learn a lot more about Attune here at Finnovate Spring, both in the demo section as well as the uh, Q&A section that we're going to be having after the demos, which will be an opportunity for folks to ask more questions, learn a little bit more about the company. Those will be following immediately after those demo sessions and want to make sure people are aware of those and definitely uh, take part in those as well. So uh, let's get started. Are you ready to go? Let's go. All righty. From the top, your favorite meal of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, dinner. It's a, an inflection point. <laughs> I love it. Uh, your favorite season of the year? Uh, I gotta say autumn. Autumn. Very nice. Uh, your favorite sport or recreational activity, whether you're participating in it or just watching? Uh, you know, I don't get to play it as much as I used to, but basketball for me, uh, just love it. Just love it. Yeah. Classic sport. Uh, your favorite vacation okay. spot or getaway? You know, I've been in on the beaches with my children, but for me lately, but for me, the favorite spot is Colorado, anywhere in the mountains. Mm, the mountains. Uh, time to relax. Are you more likely to read a book or listen to music? Uh, music for sure. Um, though, you know, working at the Financial Health Network, I should probably say a book, but for me, it's music. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Let's talk a little tech. Do you own a smartwatch? Uh, you know, I received it as a gift, but I have come to rely on it and love it. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, do you use a robo-advisor for your own personal investing? Uh, you know, no, I do it myself. Uh, my father was in this business, and I think I don't think he would let me do that. <laughs> uh, your favorite mode of, pu of public transportation? Um, as a remote worker for the last seven years working for a company in Chicago, I have come to love the L in Chicago. Mm, my wife's a big fan of the L. Uh, yeah. Do you own more in digital assets like Bitcoin or more in physical assets like gold and silver? Uh, digital assets, uh, spent a lot of time learning, constantly learning in that area. Oh, interesting. Uh, without naming names, what does your current bank do right? <laughs> sure, I can't name names. Um, <laughs> two, th two things, I think. Um, they make it easy to invest um, as well as bank with them. And then it's a stupid one, but they refund my ATM fees, all of them. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, similarly, without naming names, what does your current bank need to do better? Um, Short-term savings. Uh, and then they need to make the whole thing more simple. It's too complicated. Yeah, good, good, good tips for them. Uh, who would you say is the most inspirational person in technology for you personally right now? Uh, for me right now, uh, Rachel Renock, uh, who runs a, a company called Wethos. She's oh, awesome. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what's the best city for technology startups that nobody knows about? Uh, Monterey, Mexico. Great talent there. Great talent. Wow. Very good. I haven't heard that one yet. Uh, what's your most unpopular or most controversial technology opinion? Oh, man. Um, you know, I think being a developer, which is where I started my career, I do think gives you unique skills as a business person, but sometimes it can really hurt you um, more than it helps you. You care just, you know, too much about or you're too interested in how a thing works. Well, it makes a lot of sense. Very interesting. Uh, what would you be doing for a living if you were not involved with a tune? I would be... Um, I would be a studio recording engineer uh, for music. Very interesting. Uh, let's talk a little bit about a tune while we're at it. Uh, what problem does your company solve Great. and who does it solve it for? So I described it before, we're an insights platform that allows organizations to optimize for financial health. So, you know, lots of companies say to themselves and to the world that they want to help people financially. And they know that the financial health of their customers and their employees matter, but they don't really have the tools to translate that intent um, into action. You know, they're swimming in business metrics, but they don't really have consumer metrics, customer metrics. And so we provide the measurement and benchmarking and insights around that that enables organizations to design for and then hold themselves accountable to improving financial health. And we do that for banks, for credit unions, for fintechs, 
and for employers uh, across sectors. Yeah, very, very interesting. What would you say is the most unique aspect of Attune's technology? You know, I think um, we're measuring something that just doesn't seem quantifiable. Um, we make it into metrics that can both be managed themselves, but then also connected to other business metrics, to KPIs. So we can see how progress that consumers are making, that customers or employees are making, connect with the ways that we improve our business and make money. And so it sort of seems like this magic that we wouldn't be able to lasso in the past, but we can now. Very interesting. You've been involved in this space for, for quite some time. What would you say is the most important thing when it comes to building a strong team? Who, um, you know, I just think internally, you sort of trust and mutual support. I think in this field, you know, this, I think both being able to balance the optimism um, necessary to go solve tough problems with the realistic nature of working in a highly regulated um, industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What would you say is your biggest professional takeaway from the year we just had, from 2020? You know, it's an unlimited list, but I think for me, it's that things can be different if we want them to be. Mm, very profound. Uh, where do you see your company attuned in the next, say, two to three years? Can't wait, it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna be making an impact everywhere. I think um, our technology ends up being embedded into experiences across financial services and the workplace, and that measuring financial health is kind of becoming a standard um, way of doing business. And by that point, I also think we'll be making our way into other adjacent sectors that are highly connected to financial outcomes, things like healthcare, education, government, um, et cetera. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, let's go into the home stretch here. Are you a cat person, a dog person, or neither? Dogs, um, although I got a cat in quarantine and I, <laughs> I, I, I like it. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, if you were a famous artist, would you be more oh, likely a novelist, an actor, director, or a singer musician? Singer, uh, I would give a lot to be able to sing what I hear in my head. Wow, <laughs> you and me both. Uh, what is your favorite holiday? Uh, Mother's Day, this weekend. Oh, excellent choice. I haven't heard that one so far. Perfect and timely. Uh, let's see, what are you looking for to forward, uh, sorry, what are you looking forward to most in your personal life in 2021? Uh, personally, um, hitting uh, 500 songs in my SoundCloud um, <laughs> and driving enough streams to make 100 bucks a month. You know, wow. there's all business is all is everywhere. It's always there. Jobs always there. But I think in my in my personal life, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, very cool. And last but not least, what is your favorite thing about being a part of Finnovate Spring this year? You know, I think to be a part of an event again, it's just obviously been gone from our lives in a lot of ways um, uh, for a long time. And I think, you know, we've been working on this platform for a while now, and I'm just really excited to introduce it to a new community um, to make some new partners and some new friends. Yeah, fantastic. And that's our 25 and 5. Thank you very much for playing along. I hope you enjoyed it just to maybe a little bit. <laughs> Great. Thank you. So again, folks, again, we'll get to get to know a lot more about you and Attune here at Finnovate Spring. So thanks very much for joining with the 25 and 5. And definitely, folks, be sure to catch Attune's demo at Finnovate Spring, as well as the demo Q&A session that will immediately follow their demo session. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you next time.